remember a very brave young man. Earlier this week, many from the world of boxing gathered at the Peacock Gymnasium in Canning Town in East London. And among the crowd, Michael Watson, there to pay tribute to Bradley Stone, who collapsed and died after a British super bantamweight title eliminator against Richie Wenton. He is gone, but not forgotten. We all know about the tragic event what happened, and uh, I can't express the grief that was felt in this gym after the day after that event and many a days after that event. But Bradley Stone would have wanted one thing, that's for us to carry on. <laughs> to all of us here at the Peacock, Bradley Stone will always be our champion, a sporting hero. The memory of this brave young man whose life was dedicated to boxing will never, ever fade. His statue will be a reminder to us all that with a fit body, a clear head and determination, we are in the best position to realise our dreams. We started off boxing together, all three of us, me other brother and all. But uh, we finished and Bradley carried on. That's all we lived for was boxing. It means a lot to me, you know. I'm here to give Bradley the full back I can. Our fighters should all unite together. So this wonderful permanent monument to Bradley Stone, I'm sure he'd be delighted that so many of his friends were see, there to see it unveiled and it is a spectacular piece of work Glenn isn't it? It is, it's a, a very nice morning, a very nice tribute to a smashing young man. Um, I think we should just pause and also remember the continued courage of Michael Watson who has shown fantastic bravery to try to overcome his disabilities. That's right, it was, it was nice to see him, he, he looks as if he's pulling himself together, a very you know, great courage. Mm. You did actually see Bradley Stone fighting a couple of times? I did, I commentated on him and he was a, he was a good young fighter and a nice person, a, a tremendous shame. Mm -hmm. Good wishes to all the family there. Now before we leave you 